What's going on with you? I see you see that title. Black European Kings. The Jacobite Uprising. The Jacobite Uprising. See, a lot of people don't know about these things. A lot of people think that we were strictly only in America or Africa. But we was everywhere. We was all over the place. Yeah. So, I want you to check this out. I don't have a computer right now, but I just want to show you a couple of images of back then. Scotland. Notice he got the beard. Notice he had the beard going. Another thing about the Scottish is they didn't like pigs. They wouldn't eat pigs. So that say a lot. And then in the images they got beards. So I think that say a lot too. I'm gonna give you the uh, drop on this guy's videos too, man. Y'all gotta go check him out. Hello, everyone. He has some good uh, stuff, hope man. Is, I hope you're having a great day. Hope everything but. is muy bono with you. And I hope you enjoyed the display of the Anyway, I want you to see something flag. else I found. I found this kind of interesting. The increase of population. It's a letter that Benjamin Franklin wrote. And in yeah. this letter. Yeah, that's Here's the letter Benjamin Franklin wrote. So, in this letter he wrote. Check this out. Which leads me to add one remark that the number of purely white people in the world is very proportionably very small. Not a lot of white people, he said. All Africa is black or tawny. Asia, chiefly tawny. And you know what the Asians look like, right? So tawny is that more or less. America. In parentheses, it's got exclusive of the new corners. So whatever they just found, holy so. And in Europe, all black, the Spaniards, Italians, French, Russians, Swedes are generally what we would call swarthy, which means black. You ever heard of Swarty Pete? St. Nick's helper, what the uh, people out there in Neanderland, well, I said Neanderlands, um, Netherlands, they dress up as him, paint their faces black, put a black wig on like an afro. All right, so back to this. As the Germans also. So the Saxons only accepted who, with the English, make the principal of body of white people on the face of the earth. All right. It's hard for me to read it because I'm doing this off of a tablet and my phone, so I can't really see it. The word is so small on the tablet. But you can see I'm on a lot of white folks. So, you know, Benjamin Franklin, the runaway, was trying to explain that. So maybe that's what he was running from, you know. But... It made me think of the movie Django. You remember in the movie Django, the wife he was trying to save, she was speaking German. But of course, they had to twist it and make it to where her slave owner from, from the past spoke German. Nah, we spoke that evidently. Huh? And then another thing I found out, checking this brother's page out, right towards the end here somewhere, he explained... He's showing the, the names of the people of Scotland that got forced out in exile after the Battle of Culloden. That was the last battle over there on those grounds. And what they did with us, they didn't kill us. They shipped us out of there. That's why I announced only 7% uh, black people over there or 0.7% black over there. Everybody else got sent out. The first place they sent them... I believe it was Barbados. So, you know, they scattered them along the islands. 
and then they got pushed down in the North Africa and such. And I found out that the last ones got sent to North Carolina. And that's where I'm at. And my name, Torian, that's my real surname. It goes to Scotland. It goes to the Jacobites. So, I just thought I'd drop this, you know, so y'all could kind of kind of see who you might be, you know. I found it interesting that Jacobites didn't eat pork, you know. That was, that's something right there because that's one of the things I dropped. You see, that's King James. You see, that's King James. See, these people was black people, but we wouldn't have never thought it because we was thinking we from Africa. But when we find out where we really got sent from, so that makes us not slaves, but prisoners of war. We lost the battle. We tried to uprise and take it back, but we couldn't. We lost. You know, but until next time.